Lesson 10.3c, write equivalent expressions using properties. Properties of operations can be used to identify equivalent expressions. And the properties of operations are rules about how to rewrite expressions by rearranging and combining terms without changing value of the expression. Remember, terms of an expression are separated by a plus or minus. So here we have a plus sign, so here's a term and here's a term. Here we have a minus sign and a plus sign, so we have one, two, three terms. Here's the properties of operations and some examples. The commutative property of addition says that we can add in any order, and the commutative property of multiplication says that we can multiply in any order. The associative property, that's the grouping property with parentheses. When adding more than two numbers, the grouping of the numbers does not change the sum, so we can move the parentheses. And it works with multiplication. We can move the parentheses in, around different factors and get the same product. And the distributive property says that we can multiply by adding the 3 and 4 together to do 2 times 7 or we can multiply them separately as 2 times 3 plus 2 times 4. The identity property of addition says that 0 will not change a sum. We can add any number to 0 and it'll stay that number. And the identity property of multiplication, we can multiply any number by 1 and it'll still be that number. By identifying the operation in the expression, we can determine which property or properties to use. More than one property may be used. It's telling us to use a property to write an expression that is equivalent to n plus 4. This means we need to write an expression that will be equal to n plus 4 by writing n plus 4 a different way. So we can change the order of the add-ins with the commutative property of addition and write 4 plus n. We know it's the commutative property of addition because we have plus signs. Now be careful, the commutative property doesn't work with subtraction. 10 minus 2 is not equal to 2 minus 10. It works with addition and it works with multiplication. Here we have x next to y in parentheses and a z on the outside. This is multiplication with grouping symbols. We can write an expression that is equivalent by changing the grouping symbols to different factors with the associative property of multiplication. We just put the parentheses around the y and the z. We'll get the same product. Here we have multiplication with addition. We have 3 times a plus 2 in parentheses. We can use the distributive property to write an equivalent expression. We can write 3 times a as 3a plus 3 times 2, which is 6, we can write 3a plus 6. By using the factors of the terms, we can write an equivalent expression. It's like the distributive property in reverse. We're going from 3a plus 3 times 2 to 3 times a plus 2. We have the factors 3 times a, and the factors of 6 are 3 times 2, a and 2 are both being multiplied by 3. Do you see that? A and 2 are both being multiplied by 3. So we can write a plus 2 in parentheses and write the 3 on the outside. So it would be like if we were multiplying 4 and 2 by 3. That's 3 times 4 plus 3 times 2. We can just write the 4 plus 2 inside parentheses with the 3 on the outside. The number or variable being distributed can be to the left or to the right of the parentheses. We have 2x plus 10. That's equal to 10 plus 2x. And reversing the order of the add-ins of the terms would be the commutative property of addition. Here we've got the distributive property and a variables on the outside. That's b times 2 plus b times 3, but we would write it 2b plus 3b. And if it were this way and we did b times 2 plus b times 3, 
or b times 3 plus b times 2. It doesn't matter the order because of the commutative property, right? We write the variable after the coefficient. We write the coefficient, then the variable. We don't write b3. We write 3b, okay? The commutative property of multiplication allows us to change the order of factors. If we see x next to a y, that's a multiplication, isn't it? That's equal to y times x. Just like if we had 6 times 9 would be equal to 9 times 6. But variables are typically written in alphabetical order. Using the properties of operations will allow us to reorder, regroup, and distribute within the expression to write an equivalent expression. We're finished with part three. We're going to move on to part four. Identify equivalent expressions using properties. That's 10.3D. There'll be a copy of the properties of operation chart on my Joanne School Facebook page in the photo section and in the YouTube community section for my channel. I hope you have a wonderful day and I hope you'll join me next time. Bye.